bridge fiasco just one day after Governor Cuomo celebrated the opening of the new span of the Mario Cuomo Bridge. Safety concerns cause it to be delayed. Good evening. I'm Jessica Moore. The much anticipated opening of the eastbound span of the new Governor Mario Cuomo Bridge has been delayed tonight after a piece of the old Tappan Zee Bridge became destabilized. CBS 2's Lisa Rosner is live for us in Terrytown with more on that. Lisa. Jessica, the concern is that the old Tapanzi Bridge could fall, injuring people on the new span adjacent to it. So the new span closed tonight until further notice. Also, the Coast Guard not allowing any vessels underneath the bridge. Some are wondering how could such a major flaw fall through the cracks at the last minute. A nearly $4 billion bridge, more than five years in the making. Governor Andrew Cuomo celebrated the completion of the South Span with Hillary Clinton and a ride in a convertible owned by Franklin D. Roosevelt. But plans were aborted. Today, that span remains empty and coned off. Friday night, workers disassembling the old Tapanzi Bridge adjacent to it heard a noise. Turns out there's two flawed joints in the old bridge closer to the Westchester side. The contractor says it could cause the old bridge to fall with pieces striking the new span. The new bridge is ready. It's all set. We were ready to do it uh, last night today. I don't want to authorize the transfer until we know it's safe. Governor Andrew Cuomo says it's complicated because the old bridge is no longer under state control, instead owned by a contractor. We worked our butts off to get this eastbound span done, and we're pretty proud of that accomplishment. And the fact that it's sitting empty waiting for traffic is, is somewhat of an embarrassment. The snafu comes less than a week before Democratic primary elections. Cuomo's opponent, Cynthia Nixon, calling for an investigation into the matter. We shouldn't be using... Uh playing with public safety uh, to open a bridge that's unready uh, a week before the election that he's named after his father um, in an election year. The Republican challenger for governor, Mark Molinaro, saying in a statement, it's now clearer than ever that the bridge was open to meet Governor Cuomo's political timetable. For now, traffic going both ways will stay on the westbound span that opened last year. Hopefully, Whenever it needs to be done, gets done quickly and gets done right. It is a little unnerving to think that the report was that the old Tappan Zee could fall. Why did it take so long? And how could they have planned an opening ceremony if they didn't know about it? Now, the contractor for the old bridge telling me tonight that it was not regularly being inspected because that bridge was going through demolition. Right now, engineers from across the country are being flown in to take a look at this tomorrow morning. And the governor's office not giving a timeline at this moment on when the new span will open. We're live in Tarrytown, New York. Lisa Rosner, CBS 2 News. All right.